welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be tackling the facelift steering wheel. So this is the steering wheel that I got off rowing again, making me buy stuff all the time. This is exactly what I wanted. So if you guys didn't know, this is the current steering wheel. As you can see, it's got like four spokes. It's not flat bottom. It's nothing really that special. However, this is special. So this is the ST line steering wheel, which comes with cruise control, which we definitely need. Uh, all the steering wheel buttons work. Obviously it's the new design, so three spoke. And then because it's the ST line, it has the flat bottom. Now the good thing about the ST line over the ST wheel is it doesn't have ST written in here. So this is somewhat, this is very zoomed in, somewhat what it should look like. When you're doing the face of steering wheel, you have got to uh, change the clock spring. Um, I have got one of those, as you saw earlier, so we'll have to just give it a go. I haven't changed a steering wheel ever on a car, so we're probably just going to have to take the battery off and just tackle it head on. Battery needs to come off for the airbag. I've taken the airbag off on this before to do the cruise control, so I do know how to get it off. It is a bit of a pain on this, but once it's off, we should be able to take this off completely. Then take the clock spring off. Once that's done, we've got to just check the clock spring. The clock spring that I have uh, might be broken, it might not. I need to plug it in, get the diagnostics up, and just reset it onto zero degrees on the steering wheel angle. It's not going to be too hard, but we just need to make sure we do that so we don't have any errors. Once all that's done, clear the codes, check everything works with the buttons and whatnot, and we should be away. So yeah, let me just quickly grab my tools and we will make a start. All right, first things first, there is a T20 under here. And we just have to undo. There it is. So we'll work that in there. Right, the next thing to do now, if we rotate this wheel, you can see there's a little clip there and exactly the same one on the other side. So you just need a flathead bit. Move this round a bit more. Just get it in there. You should be able to just push it out like that. And the same for the other side. Oh, thank God for power steering. Right, so same with this side. Okay, here we are. So now that that's undone, this pops out. And then there's just a piece back here that just unclips like so. So that should all be able to come out now like so. So that can just, we're going to reuse this. Um, so we'll just put that down there. And as you can see, we've got access to a lot of stuff now. This you can just pull off this side. And again, this side. And this should slowly just wiggle off like so so that's just got some more padding and whatnot in there so we will be reusing that as well now as you can see the whole steering wheel column excuse my legs is uh, is open and you can see all the connections for the various different controls and stuff so if we just lift this up and out as far as possible we need to now get this airbag off now the way you do it is behind the steering wheel right there's two little clips the best way to explain it is on this one so there's a clip here you can see that just pushes in and a clip here that just pushes in and that will release this from the steering wheel and let you take it out but whenever you're touching an airbag always turn off the battery so that's what we'll do we'll quickly undo the battery get this airbag off and we'll have a lot better view of what's going on get that 10 mil and that this should just come off. Beautiful. Tuck that down there. Should be no power to the car. Do we have power? Brilliant. No power. So let's tackle this. Okay, next bit. Need some sort of screwdriver. Need some sort of screwdriver that's just flathead. And then behind here, there is a hole somewhere around here. Yeah, there. There's a hole there that we need to get into. And basically, push in and down. Same time, this will pop out, so we need to hold it. Do the same on the other side, and it should just pop out. You can rotate the wheel a bit more, Ugh, like so. I think that side's done. Let's try the other side now. It is out, so whew, let's turn this back and uh, get you see what it looks like around the front. All right. Whew. That was some hard work. Okay, here we are. So, airbag is off. Just a bit of a faff trying to get it out with, as it is with any airbag, but it is off, so happy days. Right, there's a load of connectors behind here, as you can see. So we've got to disconnect the big yellow one in the middle, which is the airbag. That green one by my thumb, which is cruise control and everything else. So let's do that. Okay, airbag off. So this is the wiring. You can see I cut it out myself, this wheel. Uh, you don't see it, obviously, from the front, but you can see where I cut it out to retrofit the cruise control. All of this is now irrelevant because we've got to get under here to this clock spring. So we've got to undo this, 
which is the harness for cruise control. Uh, this is for the airbag, um, so we could leave that on the clock spring. Uh, and then there's a big, big old bolt here. Uh, I'm not sure what size. Just have to get this off now. The best way of doing this, uh, just crack it off, get someone to hold it uh, with a big, you know, breaker bar, and then when it's on. This steering wheel is going to be pretty stuck on so just leave this still threaded in give it a few hits and try and get it off uh, and then take the bolt out so that's the next plan of action here we go and crack it off nice and easily by ourselves first oh that wasn't on at all there you go so the wheels off now this is really really easy and there's the old steering wheel now as much as i like no steering wheel <laughs> We do need to put one on, so there's a few things here. It says connectors, we could just unplug that one. I think there's another one somewhere behind here. Anyway, the most important thing, there is one Torx there. There's a few Torx do dotted around the place that we need to get, uh, and then we can get access to, like there's one connector behind here. So once we've got this all off, try and not rotate this. As you can see, really yellow there. I don't know what that means. Uh, but yeah, try and not rotate this too much because it can cause damage. So we'll have a go. Uh, try and find all the bolts for this because I've never got this far before and see what happens. Okay, quick Google. So we got one there, we got one there, we got two right on the top there. So I just quick Google and had a look at that and that's pretty much it. Obviously try and keep this as straight as possible. So let's get these out quickly. Okie dokie, so this is now free. Uh, obviously, like I said, try and keep this straight. Uh, there is a connector behind here and I think Okay, there's one more underneath. Okay, if we just slide the whole thing off. Okay, it's not a connector, it's just holding on this. So I've just got to pop this little thing out and we'll be able to get it. Okay, that is all done. And that is our clock spring, the preface lift wheel. So we'll put that there. And now this is where it gets a bit harder. So we have to put this on, plug everything in, plug the battery back in and just get four scan up and just make sure that this zeroed. Because if not, we're going to have a lot of faults. Right, so I've plugged the connectors in. I'm not going to put this in just yet, but this just slots into here. That connector's in, and the back connector is in. And now we can move this. So I need to plug the battery in. My laptop is just down the back there, and we'll get the live data up. Right, excuse that noise. I haven't got an OK button to turn it off, but we're currently connected to the car. It's going to come up with a few errors. That's fine. Obviously, we don't have an airbag in. Uh, we just need to log on to the live data. Okay, guys, here we are. This was about 360, so this is where middle was. Uh, unfortunately, that's not middle. So if we just turn it right, you can see it's getting closer and closer. Keep turning, keep turning. And zero is around right about there, which is right straight on. So now we know this is in the middle and obviously all working, no problems at all. We can now disconnect from this. Disconnect from the car, turn the stupid noise off, and now we know that this is zeroed, which is fantastic. So the next bit, plug, uh, take the battery off again so we don't blow ourselves up, bolt everything back in, uh, put everything, you know, basically reassemble the wheel. So it shouldn't take us too long now. We're on the home straight and hopefully everything works. Wheel is on, obviously it's very, very close because I'm trying to work everything out here. So we've just fed the wires through. That's obviously for the airbag. Just a note, actually, the yellow that you can see there again. So. Uh, I'm guessing when you see the yellow, that means that it is um, centered. All right, so this just plugs into there, right? Now all these controls should work. Uh, fingers crossed they work. I see here these two are unplugged, so I've just got to figure out what goes where or even what are they for. So let me figure that out. Bit of research, got them to plumbed up there. It might be wrong, and when I turn this on, it might explode, but we'll give it a good go. Uh, last thing, you see that yellow connector, that just goes here where my thumb is, so that plugs in. Uh, I'm not going to plug the airbag, like clip it in just yet. Um, I'm going to turn everything on, make sure everything works, because it's a nightmare to get these airbags out, so give it a try. All right, let's put the battery on, and bang, no bang yet. Now, just turn this on quick. Oh, that scared me. Stereo buttons are working, stereo buttons are working, this button's working. Right, everything's working. Cruise control. Working. Speed limiter, I think you have to be driving, right? Okay, here we are. So we've got uh, all of these panels back in now. As you can see, it's pretty much done now. Uh, we had a bit of a nightmare with a screw that fell behind here, but it turns out you can just unclip all of this and uh, find the screw. So yeah, this is all done. What I just need to do now, plug the battery and just check the horn works and everything else works. And then we can plug it in, just clear all the codes to do with the airbags and stuff. And we are complete. So the horn works. 
Uh, if we turn the ignition on, turn the audio off, this works. Uh, next track works. Uh, that's good. Voice assistant works. Volume up, volume down works. Uh, cruise control works. So everything is working just for the final little bit okay we are all done it wasn't too bad actually for the first time ever changing a steering wheel i think i did pretty well but this is now our result the steering wheel is much thicker much more spongy and i really really do like it i've adjusted it exactly how i wanted to uh, it's annoying because it's reset a lot of my stuff but that's it it's nice and simple i i would recommend just someone going out there if you're interested in this just go buy the wheel on ebay you know something like that Get yourself some clock springs. Just make sure it's on zero degrees when you get it. Good enough. I think I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much it. Um, it's refreshed the interior so nicely, especially with Sync 3 and the steering wheel. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thank you. Thank you guys all for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video.